She uses my mom, she uses everybody she comes in contact with. It's like touching something and turning it to gold. She can touch if she wants and shatter it to pieces. It's only right if you apologize for you lying because if it was not, if you- I'm gonna apologize for whatever she said. I said she gonna apologize for making me look like a She came out of the bathroom and got dressed. Then he proceeds to sit down and light a cigarette. I'm so sorry. I love you, Joe. You know it hasn't happened ever again. You know it won't happen. Justice. They are fed up with their loved ones' behavior, and they say they're ready to take action. Legal action, that is. This is the case of a man who got caught in the wrong place, with the wrong man, at the wrong time. Richard! Richard, Richard, come on out! Hey, Richard! You look lively, Robin. Well, that's a nice well, way to start to off. <laughs> Woo, that was very nice, Richard. You, you got somebody backstage, yes, Gerald, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. So what happened? Basically, um, he came home early from work one night and early. Me, yeah. Uh -huh. Caught me in bed with uh, another man. Uh -huh. so, uh, I'm just, how long I, had you guys I, been? Just, how long had you guys been dating? Almost four years. Almost so you guys have been together for four years. four years. Right. He's my first. He was my first relationship, and. I just, I just wanted kind of to know what was out there, basically, and I, I, you know, not an excuse, but I, I was drinking all day, and it's always the drinking. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I said it wasn't an excuse. All I right. Was, you know, you know. Okay, so basically, this was your first relationship with a man. Right, right. And right. you'd been together for four years, right. and you were a little curious. A little curious. So there's a next door the neighbor, maybe. Well, he lived down the way a little bit. I've right. kind of, you know, kind of seen him a couple of times. You seen him a couple of times. Yeah, he came up to ask me for. You know, phone book, and I thought, well, come on in. Come so on in. in. I fed him a few drinks. Fed him a few drinks. Next thing, next thing, you know. Next thing you know, it's like a party. Next thing I know, we're done, and we're both making in bed, and there's my man. There's your man. Coming home from work. Coming home from work early. <laughs> what the heck was he thinking, coming home from work early? Stand up. Sorry. Hi. Hi. So you had intentions. You brought him to your house and you told him to come in and have a few well, drinks. Well, you got to premeditate. It was all premeditated. It wasn't premeditated. It was just, I mean, it. Oh, so I had you thought just about fed it. him a couple of drinks and you just so happened to end up in bed that, together, right. huh? Yeah. Right. So the answer to uh, your question is yes. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Once a cheat, always a cheat. He shouldn't come out there. No, 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 that's not true. No, no, no. No. Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. No, no, no. No. That's, you know, I have never, I have never cheated on him. That was the first time I'd ever done it. I will never do it again, and that's why I brought him here. I want to let him know that, you know, I'm tired of him not trusting me anymore. I know it's going to take some time. I know it's going to take some time. I know I'm going to have to prove it to him, and that's what I want. This is like a first step. I mean, we got the rest of our lives that I can do things with. You know what I'm saying? Gerald, do you hear that? Hi, Gerald. Hello, Robin. How Hi, are you? I'm, I'm good, thank you. Did you hear what Richard had to say? He said it was the first time I ever cheated. I'm, you got to start trusting me. I'll never cheat again. Well, he's going to have to do a little bit more than just say those words. He's going to have to really, really show me, really prove it this time. Let me ask you a question, Gerald. What, whoa, this is, this is, I can't imagine. What did it feel like when you came home early from work and you saw your man in bed with someone else? Well, Robin, let me tell you, it was like one of those nights I had a really rough night at work. And um, I talked to him earlier on the phone that day. And then when I... You know, and everything was just cool. Everything was like, oh, you know, Sam, I love you. I'll see you when you get home, you know, la, la, la. And then I get home, and as a matter of fact, uh, I pulled up, and where I can park and see our apartment window, our bedroom window, as a matter of fact, from the parking lot. And so when I first the light was on, well, first the light was off. Then by the time I got out of the car and was on my way up the walkway, the light came on, you know, so I saw, you know, a couple of bodies and they're scuffling around, you know, I'm like, what's going on? So immediately, of course, I rushed into the apartment, and boom, there they were. 
And so, but that was the worst part about that night, I can honestly say, was that after that was over, you know what he did? What did he do, Gerald? They tried to deny it. Deny it? We didn't try. No, no. They tried we did to not try to deny Richard, it, Gerald. Richard, no, you I mean, tried you to deny it. We did not that try fellow to deny sat it. down. He came out of the bathroom and got dressed. Then he proceeds to sit down and light a cigarette. You, you, and as a matter of no, fact, no, that's no. what you do. No, no. Gerald, okay, Gerald, you tried you to him to stay there. Trying Wait, to I'll talk think... me again. Uh -oh. It is my turn. Okay. It's Gerald, we have, a, we have a, a question for you. Just one minute. Go ahead. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Did you actually see them from from your from your I window in the garage? From the not park. you, not you, him. I'm sorry. That's why the light oh, came on. Richard. Yeah. yeah, that's why you turned on the light and everything. Right. Oh man, you know you wrong, right? Yeah. Yeah. Forget him! Forget him! Forget him! Forget him! Forget him. You say forget him? Forget him. <laughs> See, it looks to me that you're looking for something more out of your relationship or with uh, Gerald. I don't think you're really prepared for a monogamous no. relationship. I am. I love yeah. him. I, I have been, this has happened three and a half years into our relationship. It wasn't nothing that he wasn't giving me. It's not why I did it. So why it, did it? I just did it because it was there. And, I, and it was something oh, okay. new. <laughs> it was something that I didn't... All right. How, how would you feel if you... If the he did that to me, I would have beat the... So, <laughs> not Gerald. Don't you think not that, Gerald. Not Gerald. Think the other man. That not Gerald. He the should other man. Get the, deserve the same respect. And yes, ma'am. And I said yeah. I was wrong. And I, I'm here to apologize to Gerald for that. Well, go right ahead. Baby, you know I love you. We've put so much time in this, and you've treated me so well. And I'm so sorry. I love you, Gerald. <laughs> You know it hasn't happened ever again. You know it won't happen. Oh, man. You know, Gerald, you know, wait a minute. Richard. How could you not love that? You know what I'm saying? I, oh. Richard, you're, you're crying. You're crying, and I believe you're, I be I believe you're sorry. I'm Call very me a doctor, sorry. but I believe, you know, people make mistakes. Stop shaking your head. <laughs> and and then I'm looking at Gerald too, and then Gerald's crying. You guys obviously love each other. Robin, can and I say something, no, please? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. You're gonna get to say something when we come back. Okay. Because I really want you to think about how you're feeling right now. I mean, I'm watching you. I'm looking at your face. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you too, Richard. So just think about what he said, Gerald. And maybe I'm a sucker for love. Yeah. Oh. Richard knows he's guilty of cheating, but has he served his time? I think so. And will his lover agree to give him another chance? I think he should. Find out when we return. Hey, you guys! How do we get them to hook up, be family again? Be family. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait! Callie, Callie! It's only right if you apologize for you lying, because if it was not, if you. guilty to betraying his boyfriend Gerald to having sex with another man but he desperately wants Gerald to give him a second chance all right you guys I got it yeah you don't even let me ask him a question <laughs> you don't think he should give him another chance no because if he loved them he would have never done it you know what I'm but saying people make mistakes I don't think you make mistakes like that you know how heartbroken he must be to walk into you guys having sex that's bad listen if you was my man oh my god yo you uh, oh my the god wrong sex, sweetheart. Oh. that what you're, you're the, the wrong, wrong sex. sex yeah definitely oh, yeah wait a minute wait a minute you guys on a whole do you think that Gerald should give him another chance? No! I mean, yes, Robin, yes. Robin, it, it was I'm a mistake, you. man. I mean, it's, it's, I, a, a mistake is a mistake is a mistake. It's, it's a mistake. Richard, mistakes happen, right? That's happened. Richard's relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hard you can't tell me your relationship's times. always been perfect. I mean... Wait, well, over here. Oh, let's well, you really, you know, everybody says, well, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, he shouldn't take you back. And you really don't know unless you're in a predicament. That's what a relationship's exactly. about. You exactly. go through hard, bad times, you go through good times. And without, you know, the bad times, how are you going to get through, you know? How are you? How smart are you guys? That is so good. That's another good one. I agree with you. That is so good. I think you're right. 
How are you going to get to the good times if you don't go through the hard times? Let's see if Gerald feels the same way, okay? Let's open the door. Yeah! to see you on this side of the door. Thank you. Me too. Girl. And I'm yeah. yeah. And may I say something, yeah. please? I know, I understand how everybody feels and what, you know, what you want to say, because I feel the very same way. You know, there have been times when I thought, you know, why am I going through this? Why do I put myself through this? You know, and it's just because that I believe, you know, in our relationship, we've been through a lot together. And um, I know that's a terrible incident and I hated it. And I heard the words, but I really want you to really work hard and show me. I will. You know, I love this you. is my way of giving you a chance to really show me. We accumulated a lot together. We've gone through so much, you know, and for this to, you know, happen for you know, you could just blow it off like it's nothing. You know, that's the hardest part. Oh, over here, Gerald. So sorry for that. So, no, stand up. I'm saying to him, don't do it again and just... That won't ever happen again. It happened one time. Be good time. to him that because he loves you very much. And you two guys make a very good couple. Thank you. God bless you. I know you said it was a mistake, but now you know you got to leave that alcohol alone. It ain't for you. That's it. What made you take him back? Because I know the type of person he is. I know he has a good heart. I know the potential that he has, and I was, you know, and I really care about him. It's not just words for me. It's I mean it from my heart, and I want to see him really become something and make something of himself. Like an honest man. Yes, honest, like an man. honest man. You know. What I want him to, what I want you to understand is, it is hard for me to like be at work. We work different hours. I, he works days. I usually work from the nights. Are and it's hard, it's hard for me to come home at night. It's hard for me to be at work without, then if I call the house and I know he should be home, and I, I get, and, I, and the phone doesn't pick up, or the answer machine, trust, and it's isn't hard to it? trust him. I don't trust you. Yeah, I, I know don't that. And I'm, I'm trust him. It I, makes I, it harder I me most. I'm sick of for the me jazz. to believe I mean, in you. If you say you're going to go hang out with some friends, you know, you should be back by a certain time. Right. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to rule over you. I'm not his father, I'm not right. his mother, you know, but right. I should be, we should That's be part of Nor should you have to be. Exactly. He's not your little boy to raise him. It should be equal and mutual respect for each other. And I give you that. You know where I am all the time. You know where I am. But you know That's what? I want you said the best thing, Gerald. You said you're giving him an opportunity, a chance. And you don't come through the door and immediately forgive and right. forget. It is a process of trust, been, isn't it? I've been struggling with and this for a long time. And you've got to earn that, right? You know, it's not easy. Yeah. It wasn't okay. easy to make that decision. I've been struggling with it for a long time. Okay. So. So we wish you luck. Thank you. Because I agree, you're a very nice couple. Thank you for coming, okay? More cases to press when we get back. Stay with us. How do we get them to hook up, be family again? Family. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 wait. Family. Callie, Callie. It's only right if you apologize for you lying, because if it was not, if you... I'm going to apologize for whatever she said. I said she's going to apologize. and shut case when it comes to their disputes with their loved ones. And today, they're laying down the law. That's it. They've had it. This is the case of a woman who says her cousin stabbed her in the back by stealing the man she wanted to date before she even had the chance to date him. Oh. Erica, come on out. <laughs> Hello, Robin. How you doing? Fine. Your cousin's here, right? Yes. How'd she steal your man that wasn't even your man? Well, first of all, I'm going to start from the beginning. Okay. Well, I met him at my job or whatever. I was talking to somebody, but that's not even a point. You weren't engaged to that somebody you were talking not to? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But you were heading in that direction? On the verge. I'm 20 years old. I'm not ready to marry nobody. Okay. I'm not finished college, and I don't have enough money to be talking about getting married. Right. But you had a man. So what? That's okay, not, okay. Th that's not the point. Okay. If you family morals are more than, I don't care if I had 20 men, 
She not supposed to talk to one. Okay. It's just them family morals. Okay, so what, let me let me. I just want to just get this clear. So you you're you. Yes. All right. <laughs> and you're dating somebody. Yes. Okay. Maybe on the verge of getting engaged, but you're dating somebody, and you see this guy. You think he's fine. You're checking him out. Maybe you're dreaming about hooking him up. And then there you go. She gets with him, right? Mm -hmm. And you have a problem with that. No, you know what? That ain't even a problem. She lied. She lied. It was a lie. I feel like. Don't lie to me. When you lie, it's just over, finished, done. Okay, it? let me ask you some, guys something. Do you think that's a problem? I mean, do you think that was her man? No. The fact that she liked that man? He was not your man. He wasn't your man. Callie, that wasn't her man, was he it? He wasn't your man, Erica. I'm not going to sit up and let you say that's not the he point. was your that man. Not the he point. wasn't your man. Family morals. You it's the same. What did I tell you? 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 I mean, you what my did I cousin. Say? What did I say? You going to always be my cousin. What did I say? I love you, Erica. You're going to be my cousin. Wait a minute, Erica. You're going to fuck leave you. But he wasn't your man, Erica. I did not say he was my man. What did I tell you? Wait a minute. What did I tell you? Why you said I saw your man? Okay, up here. Up here, up here. If you feel so innocent, how come you lied? You understand that's what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's the point. Now, that's, that's your cousin. That's your cousin. That's your cousin. Listen to me, hold up. They didn't go together understand to start that. with. Understand that. Understand that. But why you lie? But that's your cousin. Wait, wait, Callie, wait up for a minute. I want to know when I lied. Wait a minute, you know what? That man is here. That man is here. Me too, Donnell! <laughs> but did you know that Erica liked you? Yes, but she she was engaged to the other cat named Juicy Fruit. That is not his name! That's what they call him, they call him man, Juicy Fruit. They call him Juicy Fruit. And Juicy Fruit's here! Just kidding. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> I can't believe she's actually having this conversation. He, he has no ties to him. They wasn't together. I don't care. Your cousins, you're not cousins. You like them. Every guy that you like, she can't date. No, it's not no get out of here. That's crazy. You get out of here. That's crazy. You're crazy. You're gone. You're not what you thought of the you not even that. It's not even that. Why lie? Why lie? I'm from Tennessee. I was like, what's up? Whatever, whatever. We were talking. I said, you talk to Donnell? She was like, yeah, he tried to talk to me. I was like, when? yeah. Okay, when? then I asked her what happened, how they met. She when? said they met on a bus. He got a car. What he doing catching a bus? She ain't got no time, man. She ain't got no time, man. She ain't got no time. She ain't got no time. That's what she with Tennessee for. Shut up. That's what she with Tennessee for. Shut up. Anyway, what kind of car do he got? What kind of car do he have? Wait, wait, just a minute, Callie. Who you trying to talk to first? Me. She and, was, and when he tried to answer the uh, question, Erica, who I you trying to talk to? to do my that, wait a minute. That gentleman over there said you were a few sandwiches short of a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> a what? Come on, come on. I Go on, I had went to the um, to a jar to do my clothes, and she was she was talking to some other guy. When I pulled up, she was looking at me. Then she hollered at me. Then so did you a, like her? Did you call her? No. Yeah, you you are to me. She don't was swearing me while she was talking don't to me. Don't you say yourself already, Come better. better. Come better. better. Simple as that. Come better, Donnell, please. I would like to know is a man that serious in your life that I'm you not, have to no. break off a relationship no, no, with your no. cousin? No, no, no. Me and my cousin. Is he that serious? I don't From the looks of it, it's not really worth you coming over here talking about this man right here. I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. I am feeling you, but I feel that I have family. I have family. I have family. And there's no way in the world I'm going to sit there and break off a relationship with my cousin for a man. Sorry, it's not happening. No man is that serious. Well, I'm here because I feel like you owe me an apology because you lied. You know, I, you know, I don't care, Precious. This, this is not the first time that You know, I don't care that when you When was the first, baby? When was the first? It's when not was the first? It's a fact because you when? lied. Callie, don't say anything else. Who's my friend over here? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, you, come here. You seem to understand Erica's position best, right? Yes. Yeah. So, without coming down on Callie, how do we get them to hook up? Be family again. Be family. You know what I mean? Wait, 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 Callie, 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 wait. Well, it's only right if you apologize for you lying because if it was not, if you, if I'm gonna apologize for whatever she said. I said she gonna apologize for making me look like a. Ivan, 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 Ivan. You right, you right, but you.
you know what? Y'all are cousins. Y'all are cousins. And right now, you got a baby, and you got to accept that. The thing that we're saying right now, okay, as we get ready to go to break, and the reason you brought Callie here, stick with me, you tell me, all right, is that you got to go beyond this. You keep, wait, don't say anything, Callie. You keep going back. So, Erica, you just said a key thing. Apologize for lying. Wait, no, Callie, don't say nothing. Sure, don't apologize no, for him. Don't say nothing. That was a blessing. Man, Believe you're blowing me. it. That was a blessing. Would you, would you be that quiet? That was a blessing. Erica, that was a blessing. Erica, be quiet. And Callie, you said apologize for making me look like a <laughs> Hold up, hold up. And hold up. Okay, I give up. Oh, They're going to be please. watching this out. Callie. And we're going to see what they come to when we come back. Stay with us. civil rivalry we've had has been all our lives and to, to even listen to the tone of her voice bugs me out she uses my mom she uses everybody she comes in contact with it's like touching something and turning it to go she can touch if she wants and shatter it to pieces <laughs> See if we can crack the case of a backstabbing cousin. Okay, we got Erica Thames, and she says her cousin Callie knew she was interested in Donnell, but she still went behind her back to date him and to have his baby. She wants an apology and she wants an explanation. Yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, you talk about family morals. It's you like, know, it's, just, it's things you just don't do. You understand? And it's like, I don't really mind them being together, but why lie about it? If you wasn't wrong, why you lie? Okay, That's all right, now I just feel. a minute. Now let's step through this and let's have a conversation. That means you get to talk, and then I get to talk, and then somebody here gets to talk. So we can all understand each other. Mm -hmm. Donna, let me ask you a question. Are you with Callie? Yes. Are you happy with Callie? Yes. You have an eight-month-old baby. Yes. You're a family now, right? Yeah. Okay, now, Erica, stay with me. Just like our audience member up there said, why did she have to lie, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's a point. But then Callie said, why did you have to make me look bad, okay? So basically everybody does a little bit something wrong. That's how we interpret it. But you know what? They're a family now. They're a family, and you guys are family. So now you need to move beyond this. You know what I'm saying, Erica? I understand that. Okay. Yep. And I hope wherever Callie is back there, she heard what I had to say. Because I really think it is about you guys moving on and being close again. Okay? So I hope you're back there, Callie, and you're ready to come through the door. Let's see if she's there. All righty. Let's open the door. Did you hear my whole big spiel? Yes. Was it good? Yes. Okay. I'm apologizing to Erica. Not because I've done nothing wrong. Not that I feel I should apologize, but because this is my cousin. I love her, and I'm going, she going to be my cousin to the day she die. When I die, she's still going to be my cousin. But, you know, she's saying that I lied to her, and I can't understand when I lied to her. But it isn't, you know what? It's about, wait a minute. Because you were my little, you explained this to me here. <laughs> it is about moving on now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Right? So yes, she lied, is. which you, under, yes. you, know, you understood that thing. And maybe she, maybe she should apologize, too, for making up. Since she, you feel she made you feel like a whore, excuse the language, then you should have. Both of y'all apologize. Y'all both cousins, man. Let bygones be bygones. The kid is in the picture. Yeah. And that's it. it. That's it. Let's think about the right. kids right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so Erica, Erica, you were beginning. Erica was my cousin. Then Erica will be my cousin now. Yeah. But for her to sit up and say, okay, well... But don't I, go there. Don't go back there. No, no, no. If you're going to say part of somebody, going to speak it out. If she's going to say, I stole down there, how can I take something that's not yours? Okay. You go ahead. You stole them. I have to tell you, you stole them. You go to the store, Robin. It's a shirt in the store. You like, your friend got the money, but you thought your friend bought a shirt. Did your friend steal that shirt? No. I was about to say the same thing. What well, wasn't yours, you can't miss. Well, first of all, Excuse me, I did not finish. say still, but it's like she lied. You know what I'm saying? Regardless I don't, it's of like anything, this. Not if you had a man already, the difference, is, the difference is, if you was messing with him and she went behind your back, 
messing with him, that's a different story. That, morals. That, I feel like morals. That's exactly then she didn't have no morals. You understand. Then she didn't have any morals, okay? You never had them. It is time to move on. Yeah. And You're you know right. what you can You're Erica. Right. <laughs> you can smile now because because she came there and she's ready to start again too, right? Face each other. You know, that's your man, but you know. Deal with her a little bit. Give her something. Come on now. Kelly, turn around there. Hug a little bit. Hug. There you go. There you go. Be happy. Be well. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. This civil rivalry we've had has been all our lives. And to, to even listen to the tone of her voice bugs me out. She uses my mom, she uses everybody she comes in contact with. It's like touching something and turning it to gold. She can touch if she wants and shatter it to pieces. Welcome back. Today's guests have brought their loved ones here to plead their cases before them. And they're hoping the judgment day goes their way. Let's hear the case of a sister who says her younger sister is nothing but a conniving, inconsiderate mooch. Oh. Hey, Marjorie, come on out. Yeah. Hello, Marjorie. Hi. How are you? Hmm. Fine. You sure? Oh, no, I'm angry. You're oh, angry. Am I? Yeah. I'm, I'm You're angry at your sister. Yes. Vicky. Very. very. Why? Because she's using. She uses my mom mostly. She uses. She uses my mom. She uses everybody she comes in contact with. It's like touching something and turning it to go. She can touch if she wants and shatter it to pieces. Oh. Really? Oh. Wow. That's pretty heavy duty to say about your sister, isn't it? Yeah. Are you the? Are you older or younger? I'm in the middle. You're in the middle. You're right. Okay. Were you guys ever close? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I love, don't get me wrong, I love my sister. I just don't like the character she portrays to other people. I don't like the way she uses my mom. I don't like the way she uses her siblings. I don't like... So she, 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 you're saying she's using your mom and, and mooching off your mom. Yes. Yes, I think she, yes. Hey, Vicky. Hi. You're sitting back there with your arms crossed. <laughs> you got it. You I'm think it's funny? I'm all this garbage. <laughs> I'm soaking it in. You're soaking it in, yes. and it's cracking you up. How can you mooch off a person who doesn't have anything? I've you been emotional mooch. Emotional mooch. I've been taking care mooch. of my mother for six weeks. She hasn't wanted That's for all. anything. Six she has weeks kept money in her bank years. account. She put my sister out and her friend, Lori, quote unquote, supposed to be friend. My mother didn't uh, put me out. I left because you came in. Marjorie, y'all been there six weeks. Mom put you out February the 5th, your birthday. Let's get real here. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keep it real. Baby, since mama had you to take care of her, I didn't need I to be her around her as much. She Marjorie. didn't put me out. Marjorie. Yes. Are we supposed get to be able to resolve some differences, right? I would like to do we have that. Never I want you to come out. I life, want you right? to apologize We've for the way you We've never been able mother. to communicate as long as God has graced me with this earth. Oh, so come with that, Vicky. Aren't we here to solve problems or yes. create problems? Yes, you're here to solve problems. You're saying Lori, that you're supposed to be a friend of Wait, my Lori, family. Wait, Lori's, Lori's not even not here. here. She's not here. Lori, well, I think she's here somewhere. You want us she to bring her? step back here and play her mingle finger up to me. Get, get the Academy of Law ready because... Wait a minute. Well, well, so you, 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 mentioned, you mentioned Lori. Hey, hey. I will take it. Vicki, you mentioned Lori, right? And yes. Lori's a friend of yours, she's Marjorie, right? Lori's Lori my her best friend. Well, let's me. bring her out. Lori, come on out. And yet, Vicky mentioned that you were back there giving her the finger. Were you giving her the finger back there? Yeah, I was kidding with her. She know it. But do you do you think Vicky's a mooch? Well, that's not a strong enough term. But <laughs> give me a I think she is. I use. 
either, to a degree. So you you I, see her using their mom. Yeah. I have to be a user because I have wise. to. I know how to get things done and get everything I want out of life. So that makes me a user because I, I know how to be successful. Misuser. Misuser. When you break people down for your own benefit, how can or I lie break a or connive or steal. Or how can I break a person down? I'm not God. Vicki, you mentioned that you and your sister have never gotten along. Never. Ever? ever? From the time I was conceived up until now, even the time of us sitting here and being here together. From the I top. I told the producer to tell my sister, together. I said, hi, she could have sent me a hello. I, we Do really you guys ever around. hang out? Do you guys ever hang out or spend any time together? Yeah, well, we, we, came we, 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 came we here, almost hung out I once and I don't like to went to jail just having her in the car with me. That's what I was going to say. We yeah, hang we, out, but it always ends it's it. Bad. In the melee. You like to went to jail for having me in the car with you? <laughs> More than one occasion. And what occasion is this, Marchie? Oh, the last time. New Year's Eve, we was in the car with your boyfriend. And, and hey, you. And the policeman say anybody got a license? I say I got care at home. How the hell you was going to jail? Right. 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 Okay, calm down. They're not going into detail how she's mooching and what yeah. she should do to stop mooching. That's what I want well, to know. What is she doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what are you doing? What, are you, what is she there. doing the, mo the mooching? Where's this mooching she's coming? Go into with, detail. She's living with my mother and her two children in almost a senior citizen building with a one bed, a uh, one bedroom apartment with the eighty year old woman. That's Maybe it's hard times. How long have I been living there, Marjorie? That's her mother. That's her mother. Too long. You have. How long have I been there? I've All been there long. six weeks. I've hit the lottery three times. And you should have been gone with that lottery money, friend, too. You should have left when you hit it the first time. Wait a now, you can afford it. If you can afford it and you're not yeah, moving, you that's why you're there. Yeah, you're in the house, one bedroom apartment with your children. Hey, Vicky, you want to know what I want to know? What? How the heck you hit the lottery three times? Whatever I want. Hey, All I'll right. let you know at the end of the show. Okay, you, you hook me up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell blessed. her what you want. Tell her what you want. I want today. you to I'm stop up. abusing our relationship and up. using it for something that it's not. I'm, I'm angry with you because of what you do to your mother. I'm angry with what you because of mama? the way you holler and scream at your sons and Margie. put them in a situation that that's not their Margie. fault. And they shouldn't be abused Margie. because of it. Holler and scream at my sons. Your right. sons are my great children kids. No your mother loves you would. dearly. You are the baby. True, true enough. You're the baby, but you don't have to take advantage of everybody happy. because you and got it going on. Since you got it like that, take what you got and get the hell along with it. All right. Shushing me and you're saying cuss words to me. I'm sorry, That's not Robin. nice. I'm down to the suit shop to be sitting no, right here. I'm, 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 I'm gonna send you to the door and see if I'm there for you, and I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> a fact. She shushed me up. She's cussing me out. <laughs> but the verdict is still out. I'm good we're going to see if her sister's ready to fess up and to apologize for being a mook. And we're going to also find out how she wins the lotto all the time. <laughs> find out when we come back. to crack the case of the mooching sister. <laughs> You're laughing, Marjorie, but that's what you called your sister, a mooch. How My many of you guys think Vicky's going to be at the door? Mooch is a nice word for what Vicky huh? is. Oh, you yeah, guys don't think Vicky's coming out? Oh, she's very stubborn. Oh, she 
She does. She, I mean, if she's she got it going on, like she got it going on, why should she take advantage of an old lady? So basically you're saying if she wins a lotto three times... She does more than that. She mooches off for organization. She's got government funding. She gets a lot. You didn't say that before. So she needs to make it clear. Yeah. I, I mean, you're not proving her wrong, but she does need to get out of her mother's house. Well, you know what? It's kind of... It's, it's really... It's really kind of hard for me to say anything about Vicky. You know, this civil rivalry we've had has been all our lives. And to, to even listen to the tone of her voice bugs me out. Really? So is that what it is? Is it is it sibling rivalry? It's civil, oh, yes. To, to it's, it's, the greatest degree. And Lori, how come you're involved in this sibling rivalry if you're not a sibling? <laughs> because she loves one. My mother because loves I have had to pull Marjorie off of Vicky so many times. That's how I got I involved. Don't, I, I know you did because Marjorie was getting gun on me. <laughs> she was getting jump on me, wasn't she, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> no. I think no, regardless no, of whatever no, no, problems no, no, that no, you I'm and your kidding. sister have, that has nothing to do with your sister. Her, regardless whether she's a mooch or whether she's not, you guys should still be sisters. Yeah, you know? we are. You and I'm, 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 yeah. I am so, and I am so much of a sister to this girl that when somebody comes to me and say, your sister made me mad and I'm going to beat your sister's ass, I'll tell them, look, you got to come through me first. Of course. That's, that's, that's how I am. Yeah. That's yeah. how you yeah. are. Yeah. You got to what we go through. So let me ask you, do you think, because what Vicky did say, back, what, what she said backstage was, we're here to... Solve things, not create things, and I'm that's what you think too, right? Exactly. I think she wants yeah. to be your sister regardless of anything, because you does. said it. You see in the beginning, right. she wanted my to be. You're coming too hard on your sister. I want her to be right. like You're coming down too hard on your sister. You see how you try to shush Robin? You know you got to just yeah. be relaxed with your sister. You got to chill out. You know. You know. You know. All right, let's see if she's there. You ready, Marjorie? Yeah. All right. Well, it's no doubt the love is there. All right. I hope she don't. Who said that? She you hope she's not there? No, no, no she no, don't. No. All right, I don't. Okay, let's open the there. door and see if she's there. Do I get a... Oh, 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 I have nothing to apologize to my sister for. I owe my what? mother an apology for having her upset because of the anger displayed between me and my sister. I feel my sister should apologize to me for the things she has done to me. She's older, she should be more mature, and she's always initiating I've been these mature things, enough and not you to be the one to solve these things. <laughs> That's right. What are we going to fight for? What is that going to oh, solve? Oh, come mm -hmm. on, right. honey. This okay. Academy Award stuff ought to be over with now. You done proved your point. You Academy are wrong, Award, Vicky. Marjorie. I have all right, stood behind here. and stood up for you all my life. First of all, blood is thicker than water. Marjorie, 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 that you're not Marjorie, okay. listening you to me. With your, you you've been with your mother for years. She's you she only been with together. your mother for a couple of weeks. She done hit the lottery. She been helping that your mother. You haven't gave us one good reason why she should not that she should apologize for her you abusing her mother. Not one. Well, you know what? I'm glad this is not a program called Judge and the Jury. <sighs> okay. I'm glad you're not the judge, sweetheart, and this is not a jury yeah. audience. Yes, the problem that you have, you don't listen. You're talking too much. Mm -hmm. You're talking too much. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Mm -hmm. You're Probably. not talking about how you're helping have your mother. I 40 years of this All problem you're talking, to deal you're not with. listening, you see? I'm, I'm talking. I'm not I respected here. you and I listened to you. I respect, I ask that you respect me in return. Okay? You don't listen. You're too busy pointing the fingers, you and your friend. How about helping? Okay? Stop pointing and help. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. in terms of helping. You know stop what? Stop running off with the yeah. mouth and stop pointing the finger. Sit down and talk. You're too busy blaming. Thank you. You're not listening. The key word is communication. Listen. Hear Thank her you. out. Regardless of anything. Listen. That's beautiful. That's really right. That was beautifully put. You, you said it perfectly. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, right? Yeah. Right. Yes. This case is closed, and we'll be right back. Hey, I'd like to thank all of our guests for sharing their cases, and 
I want to thank you for joining us today. Listen, if you're in a dispute with a loved one, but you're not getting the results you feel you deserve, it's time you let us hear your case. That's for sure. Give us a call. Go on ahead. I'm Robin Gibbons, and I'll see you next time.